So what makes the Galleria at Pittsburgh Mills so popular? And what effect will its opening have on other shopping malls in our area? Dr. Audrey Guskey joins us this morning on the Sunday Business Page to talk about the marketing of the Galleria and another summer phenom, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which of course is available at that shopping mall and millions of other bookstore outlets around the world. Audrey, welcome back. Good morning, John. Great to be here. This idea of putting entertainment in the malls, is that the wave of the future? Absolutely is. We call it shoppertainment. And what we found is because people are so busy with other activities that shopping has taken a back seat. And so it's not necessarily recreational shopping that people are doing. So as a result, what the malls and the different developers have had to do is encourage people to come in for other reasons other than just simply shopping. So they have the entertainment, the NASCAR, the go-karts, the bowling alleys, the gourmet food. Uh, to entice people to come there to the malls and spend an afternoon with their friends and family. But presumably, if they're going to the malls for the entertainment, for the movie theaters, for example, what makes people think that they're spending money on clothes or merchandise, or are they? Well, of course, it's a matter of being there. So if you're at the mall and you're going to the movies or you're going to the IMAX theater, then chances are you're going to hang out at the mall for an extra hour and spend some money. And so they found that when people are actually physically in a location, they are going to be spending money. And this, this type of, of shopping phenomena has happened nationally. We, unfortunately, in Pittsburgh are well behind the trend. I would say for probably a decade this has been occurring in other major metropolitan areas. So in a way, it's fabulous that finally Pittsburgh has this type of shoppertainment as well. Well, what does it mean for the other malls? You know, out my way, we've got uh, South Hills Village, and of course, there's the, uh, the North Hills uh, malls mm -hmm. up there, Ross Park Mall. Are we going to see changes here? Absolutely, because what we found is that the Pittsburgh area is only so large, and people only have so much money to spend. So if you don't go to South Park, or South Hills Village, or if you don't go to Ross Park Mall or Monroeville Mall, and you go to the new mall, Pittsburgh Mills, what's going to end up happening is you're going to be spending money there and not at the other established malls that, that you know, you have been uh, shopping at for years. And so, of course, it's, the other malls are going to take a huge, huge hit. Well, let's move to that other phenomenon of this summer, Harry Potter. I mean, the hullabaloo over this book that comes out, why? You know, you really wonder because, you know, here's this, this children's book that became like this huge phenomena many years ago. And it's really captured the hearts of children and adults alike. And you wonder, what's the magic behind it all? Um, and when you, the beauty of it is looking at the young people and maybe their love for reading and education has grown a bit. And I think that's a good thing. But as far as what caused it to be such a phenomenal thing, it just became the hot trend. And as a result, people had to have that book. I love how they marketed it, though. Fabulous marketing because what they ended up doing is you know young people and their parents at midnight right. going to some of the malls and hanging out to buy the book dressed up like Harry Potter exactly and, uh, exactly and, and I guess all the characters in the book yeah. I mean I don't to be honest I've not read the book but I do see the movie with my kids I know the movies will there'll probably be another movie coming out Absolutely. soon on this and that's all part of the marketing of uh, of a book right. like this right and you know it's incredible because if you look back over the past couple of decades has there ever been a book that's captured the hearts of children like this. Probably not. Disney's done it, but in a, a wide variety of different things. Movies and merchandising, and, and, and this has simply been a book and an idea. And it captured, really, just, just everyone's imagination. And as a result, it's taken off tremendously. There is some controversy over the book. There are those on, in uh, religious circles right. who feel that it's not good for children. Does that only hype the marketing? Well, it does, um, but I, I think the basic premise of the book is, you know, here, here's this young fella, this wizard, and, you know, people, there have been religious issues, but I think that has been really a, a, a small minority, and um, it, it's been a somewhat of a fanatic group, and so I think that it may have hyped it a bit, but chances are the kids who started reading the book and their parents who were reading it with them uh, got involved in the storylines, and as a result want to continue with it as well. Well, I guess there's no doubt that the, this book's such a phenomenon that it is. There's got to be another one coming out. What is this, the 6th, 7th? I, I don't know. I think this is the 6th, and you can probably guess that there's going to be a 7th There's going to be a 7th. Why not? As, as long as J.K. Rowling just keeps uh, writing, she'll exactly. have something coming. Well, Audrey Guskey, thank you so much for coming in today to talk to us a bit about these two great marketing summer stories. We appreciate it. I know also we're going to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with a special program note and more of the Sunday Business Page when we return in just a few moments. Stay